So, um, it's supposed to be my day off, but I don't have a day off because I'm working for a coworker. Um, she's having a, like a family um, big party. But issues with Danielle yesterday during her cheer practice, she has the popo. All right, see what you guys see. Popo's coming, right? I hear it. Popo. Um, so during one of her cheer stunt practices yesterday, the one of the girls, because she's a bass, so one of the girls uh, fell on her and I think it hit her forehead. Um, so she was kind of getting dizzy, and so hubby took her to um, urgent care, and she has a mild concussion. So she's home with a headache, and then hubby's at work, and then I have to go to work, so I kind of, and I can't be late. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of a way to where maybe I can just take her, and then she goes into the car, but then being on the freeway with her headache, it'll be worse. So I think I'm just going to have to ask hubby to come home just like one hour earlier, so that when I leave, then he gets home. But yeah, so that's our issue with Danielle right now. And waiting on Jonathan, because uh, we get out together. He drives, but um, I gotta take Danny, Danny to school. I'm like off balance today. Um, because I could not get up in the morning to watch her go into the school bus. So I said, just wait, just wait until I shower and get ready in about two hours and then I'll take you to school. So, and then Danica's coughing, but at least she got her flu shot. So that kind of gives me like a peace of mind because it's so dangerous with the little ones. Um, the elders and the little ones when it concerns the flu season. Um, so hubby took the, the kids and then Jonathan just went to get himself a flu shot. So everybody got a flu shot. I think, oh wait a minute, I got a flu shot too. Okay, I was like, except for me. And then I gotta work on my schedule for work because <sighs> My full-time job now is um, you work, you're working from home, but you still got to be in a schedule and it's a bidding session. Uh-oh, another popo. I hope, I hope, if, I know, whoever called the popo is okay. So this is ambulance. Hope they're okay. And, um... Uh, yeah, so friends, I'm like, oh, I made a video yesterday, but I don't know if I have a time to upload that. And I don't even know how that is because I used my phone. Because I used the, where's Jonathan? Because I used my phone to do um, the Sensi Club. And then, hi, Danny. You are waiting, I'm waiting for Kuya. You guys want to see Danny? You guys haven't seen Danny in a while. So Danny has been doing a little growing spurt. Show us your growing spurt. See, she's 10. Oh, there's Jonathan. Hey, bud. I'll show you Jonathan. Jonathan's going to college. And then he has a University of Washington. Hey, bud. Looking good. Okay. Uh, oh, did we, uh, we didn't tell him up to date. Um, your honor society program that you got uh, accepted. Yeah, I got, I got accepted into it. Yeah, nice. And then what are you majoring in? Uh, computer science, software engineering. Okay, so he's... Uh, He's, he's found his major and then he's transferring to, this is his first year college, but he's transferring as a junior next year? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, good to go with Jonathan. Danielle is the one that I need to uh, focus on right now because of her, of her, well, it's mild concussion, but still, you you know, as a parent, you worry. So this is my, my trees, they're kind of getting bare. So pretty soon, like in maybe two weeks, that's going to be no leaves at all. It's just going to be sticks. All right. I want to show you guys my apple tree. So this is my apple tree. And look at all those apples, right? But it has no leaves. So it's like almost bare, bare bones. But all the apples are still hanging on by a thread. And they're no good apples. They're like overripe apples. But I had such an abundance of apples this year that there's still plenty of apples on the tree. All right, friends, so this is our weather. So it's nice because it's not raining, but look how cloudy, cloudy. And then I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the water view right there. Um, I just dropped off Danny at school, but that water view, it's like the, the, the water is just so calm. 
And then here's trees. So we're always surrounded with trees over here in the Pacific Northwest. And it's just like those huge pine trees. It's beautiful. I love, I love the fall. Fall weather when it's like kind of breezy, crisp, uh, cold air, but yet not heavy on the rain. Lunch, I'm just gonna get uh, chicken coconut curry, $3.99 for this for hubby and I. And it's, uh, I don't like to open it too much because um, it's like a buffet and I don't I always feel um, for the next person. So I got that and then for. Um, Danielle and Danica, I got the chicken noodle soup, $3.99 for $6, but we got our soup. And then I got some extra, um, two for each, and bread, and then, um, salmon for Danica, and she'll eat that. Oh, you know what's good too are these, how much are these? The cheese, dry salami, but I don't like having it out. So I'm gonna see what they have over here. I like cheese and, um, you guys remember how I wasn't into cheese before, but now I am. So I like the um, the cheese wrapped with um, one of these um, meat slices. So I'm gonna go pick out a meat and bring it to work. Don't make fun of me, but I always come in here when these are like um, low price because for Danica. So I'll put it in the freezer and then I just um, fry this up with salt and pepper and um, olive oil and she loves this with rice. They got hot cocoa, toasted bread for the Keurig, caramel coffee latte, and then they have a holiday bread. Oh, and so, then, then this one. I'm thinking of this one. It was Jonathan's favorite one for the holiday. Peppermint mocha. It's $4.99. I think I'm going to put this one up. Right, look, they have pumpkin spice flavored brown coffee from Starbucks. But I want it, I want it in a Keurig. Do they have pumpkin spice? Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in the coffee section. All right, coffee section. I have not been at this grocery store for like a month and a half, friend. That's how, that's how busy I am. They start changing things around on me. Okay, I want to get the Starbucks. Um, I want to see if they have. Um, pumpkin spice. Oh my goodness. Okay. <gasps> so they have cinnamon dolce. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cream brulee. Toffee nut. Oh, I love that. Um, when Starbucks used to have the toffee nut frappuccino. That was years ago. Okay. Nope. Bright sky. Five place. Hot cocoa. All right, friends. You see my pumpkin spice? They have the... <gasps> no pumpkin spice. I wonder if they have it offered in this. So it used to be $9.99, buy three or more $4.99. Oh my goodness. That's how they get your money, that you spend more. I wanna get it in this form though. Oh, caramel. Mm. You know what, should I get cinnamon? The peppermint mocha for Jonathan. Cinnamon for me. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have to think about this one. Okay, so I am home now and I always have to get fruit, so that's why another reason was um, fruit. I like the kids to have fruits for snack and um, and lunch. So I always tell them, you know, eat fruits first if you have this um, sweet tooth and then um, go into like the crackers and stuff. So we just got done with our grapes and it's kind of hard to eat fruits like during the winter for them because um, like strawberries, they don't like it cold because then it's already cold outside. So I have to get fruits that are able to be on the um, on the counter. And then I just, um, right now I don't have time to wash it. And they're, they just wash it and then um, they'll have it for after school snack. So I opt for the cinnamon dolce and the dark roast for Starbucks because I noticed with that peppermint mocha, it was only six. And then it had the flavoring, which is like just dry, um, creamer kind of thing I think so I just got these um I like the dark I like the dark roast better than the medium roast so now I'm gonna prep up lunch for Danielle and Danica and then I gotta prep up to go to, to go to work okay so I am at work and only like 40 minutes early this time because I was um 
cooking like maybe lunch dinner for the family so i made um the salmon that i bought um i showed you guys that and then danielle's feeling a lot better so i made her do homework so just 30 minutes of homework and then no tv no phone i took her phone um and then um just 30 minutes and then rest and then do her planner her happy planner I'm, I'm forcing her to use the planning system so i gave her my stickers to be able to use and stuff so that she can pretty it up and then and that way she can keep track of all her activities because she is pretty busy for a 16 year old she has tahitian hula and then she has confirmation for church classes on sundays that takes up a lot of her time um, they don't get home until they leave the house about five o'clock on a sunday for church and then they don't get home until about almost nine um so that takes up a lot of her time and then cheer practice is every day like um i think tuesday to thursday and then friday games but football season is over and i really want her to focus on like decompressing herself and finding relaxed time now that she's a junior i'm really getting her because she has amazing friends she has amazing group of friends group of cheers and she's completely happy with that part aspect of her life but because she is a junior um i'm kind of teaching her as a mom to like it doesn't have to be all about social aspect i'm teaching her how to find time for herself to enjoy her um herself like she can be like i am my own best friend friends i don't need a lot of people to surround me to feel like i'm worth somebody or to feel included i don't know <laughs> i'm very antisocial. um i have um the way i see things i'd rather be with one best friend rather than 20 acquaintances you know what i mean so i have miss nini she's my bff i love her dearly um i'm good with her the kind of friendship i have with her is that even though we don't talk to each other she's like my sister friend you know she is my sister friend she's like my sister and so i'm good with that in my life fulfilling the friendship status and then i have you know my friends that are my physical work i have she's like my sister um we, we'll call her miss lonnie she's my work friend she yells at me she bosses me around but i boss her around too so we complement each other because we are exactly the same which is kind of scary and um oh and then my arm hurts um but then i'm just teaching danielle that you know what find time for yourself like enjoy like she loves the ukulele she loves the she loves um she's very good at her art i've shown you guys pictures of she's done like she's um she's an amazing artist and then i'm uh, i bought her new um like sketch pads she wanted those so anything she wants with art i always offer but now that she's a junior i'm telling her mellow down on your social life because you're still having fun you know you're still hanging out with your friends you see them at school you you are at cheer practice every day you go to these events she's at the key club she's volunteering she she's doing this um thing with hula um being like the assistant with danny's class she's very busy which is nice because then the social aspect is kind of put into the corner because i really want her to start focusing on being 18 almost 18 almost out of high school and when you're out of high school you do a lot of stuff on your own you go to college you go to classes you just drive you do this you do that you do what you need to do for yourself so now that she's on that age um i'm mentally preparing her that your family will always be here oh <laughs> Mm, that was the sun i'm sorry there's like that that square thing right there is my phone and then the sun silhouette but um i'm guiding her to be a strong woman young woman into the adulthood to focus on herself and know that her family is always the ones that she can really depend on and then she's got her uh, close uh, knit friends that she knows are, are there for her and then everything else kind of just like hey hi how are you We've been you know we haven't seen each other in a while kind of thing those are like you know you're still friendly with them they're still your friends but you got to really focus on yourself because that's that's adulthood adulthood is knowing what you need to do 
to do what you know what needs to be done kind of thing and we want to go to disneyland for thanksgiving so that's our plan for thanksgiving we're not going to have a thanksgiving feast we're going to celebrate it over in disneyland um for the whole family so the big kids are not really up to it so but the little kids um danica's been asking mahalo friends i'll see you guys in a bit